Hello, welcome back to video. Of course, again, I'm teaching Hank coming at you. Uh, these are our reading videos. So, of course, we're going to read something today. I Can Read. I'm doing the I Can Read series now, beginner one. For Fancy Nancy and the Delectable Cupcakes. The Delectable Cupcakes. So, here we go on the back. So, we'll get started. So, let's see. Uh, number one level, which we're doing now, is simple um, sentences for eager new readers. And you'll see, this level one is actually different. We've done. Um, my first reading before, we've done level one here. This one, this Fancy Nancy, actually, she's going to describe words while she's teaching them. So she's going to explain about these words that she's using in the story. Fancy Nancy again. Okay, so Fancy Nancy, I can read. So let's get started. Don't forget to watch these right before you go to bed so uh, you can learn English twice as fast. You, you'll, you'll remember them while you're sleeping. Okay, so let's see. Fancy Nancy. So I should show you. Fancy Nancy and the Delectable Cupcakes, yes, by Jane O'Connor. And these pictures are based on this person. And the front pictures, the inside pictures are different. So you have to you know, see, and this is a very interesting story. So you're going to learn some rules. As it says here, the main story is, Nancy is uh, thrilling, thrill, it says thrilled, thrilled to be making cupcakes, right, for the bake sale. But will she remember to follow all of her mom's directions? That's important. All of her mom's directions. Uh, you can see there's a hint here in this picture. <laughs> will she be able to follow the directions or not? We'll say, okay, let's get started. Here we go. I adore. So please follow along. Remember, you can listen. You can watch this video also with the sound turned off. So you can also read yourself. Okay, let's go. So follow along with my finger. I adore school. Adore. So again, this princess, she's explaining. So it's not part of the story. She's explaining what is adore. Adore means to really, really like something. Yeah, adore. Oh, I adore school. I adore cupcakes. But today, I can't wait to go home. I am going to bake cupcakes. Fancy cupcakes. Yeah, her plan is fancy cupcakes. So she's what's called daydreaming. She's dreaming about these fancy cupcakes she's going to make. Here we go. Nancy. Nancy, did you, sorry, I'm trying to see it, oh yeah, did you, Nancy, did you hear what I just said, Mrs. Glass asked, I shake my head, so let's just shake my head, shake my head means no, the people in the country, to comment below, the people in the country, sometimes shake means no, sometimes this means no, so yes, but in America, shake is no, and this is yes, so I shake my head, hmm. Um, I will repeat it, so Miss Glass says. Repeat, of course, is a fancy word for saying something over again, saying again and again. Repeat, like you should repeat watching this video so you will learn all these words evenly or as quick as possible. There is no recess tomorrow. Yeah, there's no recess tomorrow. Recess is the time we play in the playground of the school. Because of the bake sale. They're having a bake sale. Bake sale usually... We sell things we bake at home uh, to save money for something. For example, the, this bake sale is to raise money for the library books. They want to buy more library books, but they need to, of course, have a bake sale. That's very typical in America. Right here. So before I leave, I go over to Miss Glass. Uh, I go over to Miss Glass. I am sorry. I wasn't being a good listener. Yes, she's apologizing. I wasn't being a good listener. So, Miss Glass, you can see she's hugging Miss Glass now. <coughs> Miss Glass smiles. I know you are trying to improve. Again, improve. Improve is a fancy word. I say it's fancy for getting better at something. An improvement. Okay, I would tell my kids. It's not about being good today. It's about improving yourself. Be better tomorrow, next week, next month, next year. I hug Miss Glass as she's hugging her. I adore her. Really, I do. Yes, she adores her. Okay. And here. You can see they're on the way home from school. This was, by the way, it's an ice cream truck. I thought at first it was a school bus, but you know, it's an ice cream truck. So, yeah. On my way home, uh, Bree says she is making brownies. Yeah, Bree. Her friend Bree is making brownies. And, uh, I said brownies for the bake sale. Robert is her friend Robert. Robert is making a velvet cake. Oh, velvet cake! Wow, that's interesting. Comment below if you know what a velvet cake is, because they're about to explain it. It is not really made with velvet. Velvet, of course, 
That is the very fancy kind of cloak. Yeah, so some shirts are made out of velvet. So velvet cake would be weird. When I first heard the name, before I saw it, I thought, velvet cake? Uh, what? That's like saying leather cake. Imagine you live with your belt. Belt cake? No, thank you. But, uh, all the inside is all red. Yes, I will definitely, the inside of the piece is all red. I will definitely buy a piece. I tell him, yes, you'll definitely buy a piece. I said velvet cake. One time I made velvet cupcakes for my wife's families. And I made, um, like a whole tower of them, like 30 cupcakes. It was kind of fun to do. I'm not a baker. I've always been able to cook since I was young. My mother taught me, but I've never been a big baker. Okay. At the market, my mom buys eggs and milk, flour and sugar, and butter. Yes, yeah, so she's buying all things. You can see back in the day, because this is her, this is her sister. We didn't have a place for the kids to sit here. So usually, not in the car, usually under the car. I used to sit under the car. My sister would be here. She's older than me. I was under the car with my mom pushing around. I loved it. Uh, let's see. Don't forget sprinkles and candy. Yeah, don't forget some of this candy yet. I tell her, it's lucky I am here or we would end up with plain cupcakes. Yeah, you don't want plain cupcakes. You want some uh, sweet or sugary. So they'll sell more. The more they sell, the more library books you can buy. I want to start baking right away. Yes. I listen to my mother, sorry, I listen carefully to my mother. This grass would be very proud if she's listening very carefully to her mother. I put all the right stuff in the batter. Yes, yeah, so she's mixing everything in the batter. I pour the batter into the cupcake pan. Yes, yeah, so she's trying to get into the cupcake pan and make cup cupcake shapes. My sister, so again, her sister is busy. My sister is not such a good listener. My mom tells her three times, one time, two times, three times, tells her three times to keep her fingers out of the batter. You can see she's eating the batter. <laughs> yeah, she'd do that too, like, oh, well, yummy, eat the batter. Okay, let's see, let's see. The cupcakes come out of the oven. Ooh la la, ooh la la. What a lovely aroma, aroma you're going to smell. Aroma, oh sorry, again, this is for some. Aroma is a fancy word for smell, fancy for smell. When they cool off, we put on frosting and sprinkles and candy. You know, we put on these things on top of the uh, cupcakes, of course. I want to show Miss Devine my cupcakes. My mom says, come back soon. They come back soon. Yeah, so she's bringing the cupcakes to the neighbor. And be sure to leave the cupcakes where Frenchie can't get them. Frenchie is a dog, of course. I am already out the door. Yeah, I am already out the door. Frenchie says that, of course. That's going to come back later to haunt her. Uh, by the way, while we're in the kind of middle of the book, the word of the day is, yes, giraffe. Giraffe. Yeah, I have a colorful giraffe. Okay, let's see. So next, Miss Devine. So this is her neighbor. Miss Devine buys a cupcake. Yes, she pays money and buys one of the cupcakes. So she already sold it. Like maybe say a dollar. She already made a dollar for her bake sale. She at uh, she says it is delectable. Of course, this is a fancy word for yummy. Yummy. Earlier we did the delectable cupcake. So the yummy cupcake. Okay. Here we go. Uh oh, sorry. Straighten this up so you can read too. I come home and call Bree. We make a deal. I will buy two of her uh, brownies. She will buy two of my cupcakes. I hope I sell all of them. Yeah. She made a deal with Bree, her friend. Because, of course, it's embarrassing when you do potluck or this kind of bake sale and you bring something and it doesn't sell out. At the end of the day, like empty table, empty table, empty table. Oh no, a lot of cupcakes. Or a lot of red velvet, or a lot of brownies for a friend. You're worried about that. Same like a potluck. When you bring potluck to your church, you're worried that other people's potato salad's gone, but my potato salad's still there. Why? Was it not de delectable? So that's why she's making a deal with her. Uh, at least we can sell two each, and then that, that's better than uh, the whole table being full. Okay, let's see here. 
A minute later, I hung up. So she hung up from her friend Bree. Then I saw Frenchie's face. Oh no. Frosty is all over her mouth. Yes, she is frosting all over her mouth. Okay. Oh no. The cupcakes are a mess. Yeah, look at the cupcakes. She got all. Frenchie got all in the cupcakes and uh, destroyed them all. Oh, and Frenchie is sad now. Yeah. So she made the whole family upset. Uh, Nancy didn't. You listen, my mom asked. I said to leave them in a safe place. Yes, leave them. That's what she mentioned it. That's right. I said that's going to come back to haunt her. Now listen. Oh, but here's Dad coming home. He might save the day if we say, save the day, Dad. Okay, here we go. It, it is all my fault. I wasn't listening. I tell my mom, yeah, I wasn't listening. Here we go. Just then, my dad comes home. I tell him what happened. Now, I don't have cupcakes for the bake sale. Oh, no. That's what page 25. Wow, this is interesting. Good father. His reaction is interesting. Cupcakes, hmm, my dad says. You baked cupcakes already? Hmm. Then, he holds out a big bag. Yeah, he was holding a big bag. Did you notice it in the last picture? Yes, comment below. Where do you think this bag bag is from? Is it from, for example, Whole Foods or from Costco or from IKEA? What do you think? Yes, so uh, cupcakes, you bake them, then he holds out a big bag. In it is all the stuff for the cupcakes. Yeah, he bought everything again the flour, sugar, everything you need. So then I told you I would buy everything. Both partners say at the same time. Yeah, the husband wants to get home. I told you I would buy everything. Then they start to laugh. They start laughing. I laugh too. <laughs> they are funny. It's funny. Yes. Because both have everything. Nobody in my family is a good listener. Yeah, nobody's a good listener. Yeah, she doesn't listen about safe place. She doesn't listen about uh, the batter on her finger. And, of course, uh, they don't listen to each other because they both got the same ingredients. Okay, so after dinner, it's almost finished, so stay tuned to the end. After dinner, we bake cupcakes all over again. I am exhausted. Oh, that's fancy for very tired. Yeah, I'm exhausted. Yeah, she's had a very long night baking the cupcakes twice. My dad says, Nancy, please get ready for bed. Yeah, please get ready for bed. She's yelling at her. So she's yawning. Oh, she's yawning. Okay. Please get ready for bed. Guess what? For once, he doesn't have to repeat himself. Yes, he doesn't need to repeat himself because she's so sleepy. Because she's had a lot to do that day. Okay, now we're at the bake sale. Okay, let me make sure that's next page. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, bake sale now. So, uh, the bake sale is a big success. My cupcakes are all gone. Yeah, everything's gone from her, her tray here. Poo -poo. Oh. I say to my mom, I didn't even get to taste one. Yeah, she didn't even get to taste one. Yes, you can see here. I hear she is. I didn't get to taste one. But her mom says, look, mom, mom says, she saved one for me. Yeah, she saved a cupcake for her. That's so sweet. I taste it. Mmm, totally delectable. It's totally yummy. Totally delectable. Okay, yes. So the bake sale was a success. And she sold all of her stuff. So you can see there are different things here. Uh, we have a pineapple fed down cake, of course, here. And, yes. Comment below if you can figure out what these pictures mean. So you can pause and try to figure it out. Okay, so one more page is going to review the words we learned today. Uh, from Fancy Nancy. Fancy Nancy Fancy Words. These are the fancy words in this book. Of course, adore. To really, really like something. What do you adore? So comment below. Aroma, so aroma is a smell. What is your favorite aroma? Delectable, what do you think is most delectable? Uh, let's see, so most yummy. Exhausted, very tired. So what do you do that makes you exhausted? And here, improve, to get better at something. Yes, to get better. So what you should improve every day your English. Now repeat, of course, to say something over again. Yes, you have to <coughs> repeat something seven times to recognize it according to Google Ads Research. Seven times to recognize it, 
you have to repeat it 23 to 27 times to actually remember it. And then here, the bottom, velvet, a very fancy kind of cloth. Yeah, very fancy kind of cloth is velvet, but in this case, it's a velvet cake. Yes, okay, so thanks again for watching. This was again Fancy Nancy and the Delectable Cupcake. Uh, by the way, she has a lot, Fancy Nancy has a lot of other books. If you're curious to buy, you can pause the video and try to buy some of these. They're great to read at home. This was a great lesson about listening. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget <coughs> to watch these other videos down here uh, about different reading book videos or popular videos on our channel up here. So don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, we hope your English is improving the word of the day. Improving every day, every minute of every day. See you next time.